Hello everyone, today, topic of our discussion is protein metabolism. We are going to overview it and going to have a detailed discussion of transamination and demination with mechanism. Proteins are made up of amino acids. What's the structure of amino acid? It contains amino group, side chain and carboxylic group. What is transamination and demination? So, transamination refers to the transfer of an amino group from one molecule to another. These reactions are catalyzed by enzymes called as transaminases. A specific example is the transamination of alanine to make pyruvic acid and glutamic acid. Demination is the removal of an amino group from a molecule. Enzymes that catalyze this reaction are called demonases. For example, glutamate demonated by oxidative demination using enzyme called as glutamate dehydrogenase to alpha-ketoglutarate. Taking another example of demination, to have a better understanding, in this reaction, the alpha amino group is initially oxidized into an amino group to form amino acid. In the second step, the amino group is then cleaved by hydrolysis and oxocid will be the product. Among the amino group transfer reactions, transamination is particularly important. These reactions are catalyzed by transaminases and occur in both catabolic and anabolic amino acid metabolism. This is the structure of amino acid 1 and this is the structure of oxocid 2. The amino group of an amino acid 1 is transferred to oxocid 2 to form amino acid 2. The amino group is temporarily taken over by enzyme-bound pyridoxal phosphate, which then becomes pyridoxamine phosphate. Let's understand its mechanism. The aldehyde group of pyridoxal phosphate is covalently bounded to a lysine residue. This type of compound is known as aldamine or pyridoxal phosphate. During the reaction, amino acid 1 displaces the lysine residue and aldamine 2 is formed. The double bond is then shifted by isomerization. The ketamine is formed, which is then hydrolyzed to yield the 2 oxocid and pyridoxamine phosphate. Dietary protein is digested by gastric and intestinal proteolytic enzymes to form amino acids. Amino acids such as glutamine, asparagine, glutamate, aspartate, and arginine are to a large extent metabolized within the enterocytes, as we have also discussed metabolic pathways in our previous videos, such as curb cycle glycolysis and gluconeogenesis, as well as urea cycle. Now, let's understand role of proteins in it, as we already know that these proteins are made up of amino acids, so amino acids such as glutamine undergo demination to glutamate which in turn undergo transamination, using pyruvate to form alpha-ketoglutarate, and asparagine is demonated to aspartate, which in turn are transaminated, using pyruvate to form oxalocetate. Excess glutamate is metabolized, liberating the amino group as ammonia, which is detoxified by forming urea, through urea cycle. The carbon skeletons derived from alanine, phenylalanine, tyrosine, 309, cysteine, tryptophan, proline, histidine, and arginine are metabolized eventually to pyruvate, and amino acids such as threonine, lysine, and tryptophan are metabolized to acetyl coenzyme A. And other amino acid, which is phenylalanine, converts to tyrosine through phenylalanine hydroxylase, which is an enzyme, and then it converts to fumarate. Lastly, methionine and valine are used as source to form succinyl coenzyme A. This was all about protein metabolism. Stay tuned to scotia.com for more precise and knowledge stuff videos.